Hi team, it's Kate from The Fold Line and I'm back this week with another video for you all. This week I am talking about the new sewing pattern releases for February. Um, it... no, I mean March. Sorry. God. I practiced and then I said it wrong. It's March. Um, it has been a freaking bumper month. I mean, there are hundreds and hundreds, well, not hundreds and hundreds, but it feels like hundreds of patterns have been released this month. Um, I will put a link down below to a blog post so you can go and look at all of them because I'm only literally scratching the surface with this video. Um, so, before we get started, I am wearing a Sew Over It Susie blouse today, which is quite an oldish pattern for them, but, um, yeah, I made it a couple of years ago and it's still going strong. It's, if you haven't made it before, actually, it's a really nice pattern if you're looking for stuff to like shove on, especially for work, actually, kind of smart blouses. But actually, I'm wearing this for jeans because I'm always wearing jeans. Um, anyway, I digress. So I'm going to get cracking. The first person I'm going to talk to you about is Nina Lee London. And she is a brand new pattern company, UK based. Um, she's a blogger as well, so if you wanted to go and check her out, her blog is called Thumble Nina. And she just launched her first three patterns. So she released three patterns at once. We've got, what does she do? So there is a dress, a kind of shift dress, a pair of trousers and a top. And I'm going to talk to you about the top, which is called the Bloomsbury Brow, the Bloomsbury Blouse. That's actually quite hard to say. Um, it is really nice. I really like this pattern. Um, I haven't made it yet, but I've got it, so I'm I'm going to make it soon at some point. It's a sort of, I guess, a nod to 1980s Laura Ashley look. It's got that sort of high neck Victoriana feel from the 80s, which is very in at the moment. Um, it's quite a simple construction. It's got little darts underneath the bust. It's got a sort of, I don't know what you call it, like a, almost like a a curved yoke which you insert the ruffle into which is the same at the back um in terms of closures they but it buttons up the back and then there's a little button at the back of the neck because it's you'll see from the picture it's quite high neck um but yeah i really like this pattern i think it would be quite simple construction my only concern which is a personal concern is how i am going to button myself in and out of it yeah especially after a couple of glasses of wine i'm not sure how well i'd be able to do that so you might need a companion to take you in and out of it. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, that, that's another whole, that's another whole video. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice pattern and they look really good. I had a look at the instructions and they're really clear, lovely um, illustrations to go alongside them. So yeah, I think it's a really nice pattern and definitely worth checking her out because she's new. And um, yeah, so next we have... So I'm sure a lot of you who sew and are into sewing patterns um, will have seen the new collection from Named Clothing, which launched at the beginning of March, which was amazing. I mean, just delicious. And if you haven't come across them, they release their patterns in collections. So twice a year, they release a number of patterns. And I think there were probably sort of, I should have counted before I did this, there's probably about eight to 10 patterns released and I have just picked my favourite one from the collection because I can't talk about them all. But again, I'll pop a link down below so you can go and have a look at them. So I'm talking about the Rita shirt dress, which I think a lot of people were quite taken by. It's quite a relaxed fit shirt dress. It's got um, buttons down the front, a relaxed collar. Um, it has a drawstring waist, so in terms of fit, that's good um busts at the dart <laughs> busts at the dart darts at the bust um with pockets over and it's got slits up the side and i just love it i think it's perfect for summer i think you could also make it wear it over trousers and it would look really nice definitely definitely has to be made i think personally in a crepe or a rayon you want something with really nice drape to get the most out of it because of the because of the ruching at the waist i think the drip having a drapey fabric would be really good for this and I'm definitely going to make this and sometime in 2025 when I have a chance to make it I will definitely make it because I think it's a cracker and has anyone made it yet because I'd love to see I'd love to see if you have so please let me know um up next we have got 
This is the Jackie dress from Victory Patterns. Um, if you haven't come across Victory Patterns yet, they are an American company and they do really, really interesting and beautiful patterns. All of them, I really like them because they do amazing photo shoots as well, which I think really adds to it because it makes it very aspirational when you want to buy it. Um, but the Jackie dress I really like. So it's a jersey dress. Um, it's high necked. It's princess seamed, but the interesting thing about it is that there is no seam at the waist, so all the fit comes from the seams down the front panels. Um, it comes in two options, so you can either make it sleeveless or with sleeves, and at the back there's a sort of opening down to just above your bra, so you have a little bit more movement around there. But I really like this dress, um, I definitely, shape wise, personally for me, it's not going to work, but I think it will look amazing on loads and loads of people. So it's definitely worth a try and she does, her patterns always fit beautifully. So I would highly recommend that. Um, right, so up next we have got the Flint Pant and Shorts from Megan Nielsen. These, I think, I keep saying I'm going to make every single one of these things and I'm it's not going to happen, but these I actually really want to make. So these are a clot. They come in three options. So there's a clot which comes to sort of mid calf length, a short, a kind of midish short, and then really, really short shorts. I really like the sh look of this. Um, I think they they'll be really flattering on lots of different body shapes. They're high waisted, which is for me I love. Um, They've got little pleats at the front. I'm just finding the line drawings now so I can just double check on everything I'm saying is correct. Um, yeah, they've got little pleats at the front, um, which is great if you've got um, a bit of a tummy because it will it will um, help with that, um, flatten it a little bit. Um, it's got, I think the really interesting thing is, is at the, the fastening is over to one side so you can either do a little a tie fastening or there's sort of poppers that you can put on there but I like the idea that they're not at the front or the back it's quite interesting um, it comes with pockets as well so I think this if you I think this could be a really good wardrobe staple for summer actually because you once you've got the fit right which shouldn't be too difficult it's just sort of getting the waist right and for me squidging my bottom in but apart from that once you've done that it should be fairly simple construction so I think if you take the time to do this I think it could be really versatile because you can then crop it off to make little shorts when you're going off on holidays and yeah it's a really nice pattern and I really trust her patterns she does and she also does really good sew along so it's definitely worth checking her out she's a she's a goodie right so we have now got uh, this is this is one that's going to test my um <laughs> test my French Luzerne, Luzerine, Luzerne, Luzerne, Luzerne trench coat from Deer and Doe. Um, they are a French pattern company and they also release their patterns in collections. So we had three patterns released at once. There was a little sort of skirt and clot as well as a top. And this trench coat I thought was too good not to talk about. It's quite an evolved make if you want to do it, but I really think you'd be really chuffed if you put in the effort to do it because it's such a classic shape. It is really a real classic trench coat and never goes out of style. So it's sort of worth the investment in making, I think. Um, it's got princess seams, double breasted. It's not lined, which makes it a little bit easier, but I guess you have to make sure the inside looks as pretty as the outside. Um, it's got um, darts on the back. Um, the sand is sort of yoke on the back as well, like a classic trench yoke, and it also has a belt. So it is, I mean, really classic, classic trench coat. Um, if you haven't made a coat before, this might not be the one to start with, because it's more involved make. Um, but I really, I really liked it, and it also goes up to a size. It, they go up to plus size as well, which is really nice. So if you're looking for a trench coat, this might be for you. Yep, right. Um, let me, so this dress 
is by Iconic Patterns and it their pattern names are numbers so it's 1306 and I love this dress it's sort of a dress come tunic actually you could definitely wear it over trousers it's a really really simple make it's I think you could probably whip it up in an afternoon actually um, it's simple bodice it's got no darts it's got a seam underneath it looks just almost just below the bust is sort of an empire line sleeve uh, seam and then it's quite a sort of um a line shape so it kind of goes out it's quite it's obviously a relaxed fit and then it has patch big patch pockets which i really like and a little button placket down the front i think the i'm i'm now i i always do this i don't look before i talk to you guys the button placket is is a real one or is it a fake one i can't quite tell i think it's a real one but you could definitely make a fake button placket if you didn't want to get really involved with the buttonhole machine but yeah i think it's just a really nice pattern it's really simple little cap sleeves i think you could whip it up in an afternoon and yeah you could also it would be a really nice little top actually if you cut it off yeah if you cut it off just below the um just below the pockets i think it would be a really nice top as well so yeah that is a cracker uh next we have got is this my last one it's my last one guys so this one has just released it was released a couple of days ago and it is the juniper cardigan from jennifer lauren vintage so any of you who are following all the new pattern releases there have been a lot of jumper patterns released in the last few months and this is a cardigan so that's quite exciting um i picked this because i thought this was a really good wardrobe staple um it comes in two options so you can make a longer version if you like over jeans or a more crop version which i thought would be really handy because it would be perfect to go with dresses um this pattern is jersey so you're sewing with stretch um there's lots of options also to check to sort of change it up um she's made some really nice samples where she's got different colored sleeves it's a sort of um the sleeve detail is quite interesting it kind of you'll see from the image it sort of swoops up i don't know what you'd call that i mean it technically it, it probably is a raglan sleeve but yeah i'm not sure what you call i think it's a raglan does anyone know what you would call the sleeve um yeah i really like it i think i think Really, if you invest the time, make the fit right, I think you could just be whipping these up in loads and loads of colours, especially if you wear a lot of dresses. Um, it's quite hard to find a patterns or even jumpers in the shops that are slightly cropped that kind of finish at your waist. So this would be perfect for all of those dresses. And yeah, I think it's a really nice one. And she does a lot of really lovely patterns and also does sew-alongs as well. So if you are slightly scared of making it, um, watch this space because I'm pretty sure she must be st I think she's starting a sew along for this soon so you can kind of follow along with images and get some extra hints and tips from her Whew. right so that is everything for this week um, I'll pop a link down below again as I said um, to the blog post so you can go down there have a look buy some patterns as it's payday might as well treat ourselves and yeah, that's it. I hope you have a lovely weekend. And yeah, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to find out more about us and sewing and sewing patterns. Um, yeah. All right. Bye.